Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come with the new video. This video is all about a uh, BMS and it is very famous BMS and it almost capture a 50% of the market. We are talking about chance vision for PC for PC. So in this video first we will we will discuss what is sense vision for pc next we will tell you about its feature and after that we go to the practical part means how you download this software and how you install them and finally how you configure them to make a camera live so keep watching please like share share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start so what is sense vision for pc this software is manufactured and marketed by Sense Industries. It is an American company. Its products are available in European Union countries also. It has a long reach. The brand value is high and service are satisfactory. The company deals in every type of security surveillance, CCTV cameras and recorder. It also a solid range of accessories. That is the durability and reliability of product are well known. So and now we are talking about its feature so the software really a live videos there is no video laggage there is no time lag you can connect more than 16 devices at a time when you have to monitor the recording you have you can view them in a combination of four channel the app connects the devices by id also means cloud id means by remote locations it is useful when the network quality is low, it means it auto manages the bandwidth and then and then camera frame rate. It supports the two-way audio if your camera is audio enabled. Uh, you can you can control the PTZ means in this software you have a PTZ option and you can also watch the record of the of your surveillance. So now let us start our practical part. So what you should do first, just open any browser. In my case, I use my Google Chrome browser and search for Sense Vision for Windows. Just open it, and after that, just here you find a website. Just click on this. In this website, download is available. Other apart from download you can it will tell you that how you can install them and how, how you configure them so just let start here you find that a sense vision for windows download just click on this when you click on this it will redirect you a page and after you, you should wait a 10 second after that it will redirect to your download page now just click on, on this when you click on this software is downloaded after this just click on this, this three dot button and go to your download page and in download page here it's, it's our software xmr for windows just open click on show in folder and after that just right click on the folder and click extract to xmeye you find the same folder name just open the folder and here you find your application file or .exe file or installer file just right click on the installer file and click as run as administrator and click on yes now you should change language according to your choice in my case I use English again click on next again click on next now press next again it will take time to install now when it's successfully installed you get the second installation successful notification now click finish when you click finish Again, it asks for a language, Portuguese, English, and many more. So you can choose according to your ease. 
Now in my case I use English and, pre and press OK. When I press OK it asks for username and password. Username is super and password is blank. Just click on login. When you click on login. Now it is open. This is the interface of software. And the first thing you should do, you should click on the system option. Here you find a system option. Just click on system option. Here you find again a device manager. Just click on the device manager. And after that, you should you should create area first. In my case, I use this test. Name as test. And click OK. And after that, click on this test and then this add device option is enabled and click on add device. When you click on IPS, there is two way. If your laptop and your NVR or IP, an IP device connected to the same network, you should search for IP, you should go for IP search. Just click on the IP search. It may possible that it come. automatically no it is not able to find out in that case you should remember your password IP address uh, you can view your IP address by login your NVR or DVR and after that go to network option so in my case I remember my my I my, my local IP here so I just enter my ID. This is my local ID and port number is 6036. And after that, it asks for password. Here is the username. This is the username of your D NVR or DVR. And again, is a password of your DVR. Please note that many people are confused at this place, and they are, they comment me that what what should I enter? You should enter the username and password of the NVR or DVR or whatever device you are adding. So in my case, I just use my password and click OK. When I click OK, again just go to this test option. And here my device is added and in here you find my connection successful notification also just click on the particular cam it is come online so this is all for transcription for PC hope you like our video please like share our video and subscribe to the channel if you are new one thanks for watching have a nice day